hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel Ooh, that lighting though if anybody want to know how i get good quality videos filming on the iphone xr phone no i don't have a camera youtube don't pay me enough to do that but when they start paying me i make sure i buy a camera for y'all but yeah i'm gonna um if i'm gonna put that in the description below if y'all want to see how i film my iphone xr and what ring light i use so you guys can purchase it to get better quality videos and you don't gotta spend tons of money on the camera but anyway welcome back to my youtube channel guys what's up eddie gang i know you're already watching this but if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you doing make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications hit that bell so you know when i upload so you won't miss nothing period so yeah if you're interested in watching this video um just keep watching today we're going to be talking about um sorry i got my planner y'all already know so we're going to be talking about how to win a man's heart so i want to do a little girl talk so yeah if you want to um chat with me vibe with me you know get your quilt get your covers cuddling your bed eat your marshmallows I don't know, eat whatever, and just, you know, listen, listen to me, hear me out. Let's have a girl talk. Let's go. Let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of, um, I've been getting a lot of, um, questions about my marriage how I keep my marriage going and what we do to spice up our marriage or whatever the case may be. So I want to answer some of these questions because there's a lot of women out here that's confused and don't know how to get a good man because they just, I don't know, maybe they are tricked in the wrong type of guy because of what they used to. So I just wrote down a whole list to help you guys win a good man and not win the, man, the men that play around because I don't got time for that. People don't got time for boyfriends. We want to get married and have husbands. Like, what is a boyfriend? <laughs> Seriously, sis, what is a boyfriend? If you got a boyfriend, you need to just be like, all right, you got a boyfriend 18, 19, 20, but 21, but 22, 23, you know, as you get older and your uh, 20s, like, you know, like 24, 25, in the mid, early 20s, you want to start getting ready for marriage. So here's the tips to do that. So one of the guys, so you could get married and show up. So the first thing, yeah. So the title is is how to win a real man. Sorry, not no boy, a real man, a real good man. So the first thing, mm -hmm, sip your tea. I got your covers. Check. All right. So I was gonna snuggle up in the bed and do this, but I was like. Well, I'm just set up and do it with y'all guys. But y'all can get comfortable, get comfy, because this is a girl talk. Duh. But anyway, the first thing is dress modestly. Sis, no one's going to take you serious. Walking around here with a tube top and some booty shirts. What husband is you grabbing like that? You only going to grab somebody that just want to bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. On to the next. Okay? Ain't nothing but a bunch of STDs out here. So, therefore, you shouldn't be jumping around from man to man. You got to get it together. I know you want to be out here looking like a thot, but the order you get, you're going to find out that, sh that stuff was not cute. That's not cute. That's why y'all need to learn self-respect. Respect yourself. Because once you respect yourself, you're not going to go outside like that. Once you respect your children, you're not going to go outside like that. You want to go outside looking like a woman. You don't want to go outside with like a little teenage girl that everybody looked like they hit before. Like, start taking care of yourself. Start drop, dressing modestly. I dress modest because it's my choice. I'm not oppressed. This is my religion and it's a way of living and it makes me comfortable to cover my modest, cover my body. It's very modest. If you don't cover, then at least dress like a woman stop dressing like a skank and maybe you could actually find somebody y'all i'm not trying to be rude enough i don't want to rule comments or nothing like that in my comment section i'm just trying to be honest with you if you want a real man you can't be dressing like that that's that's not cute self-explanatory next 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 um thing the next thing is 
respect yourself. No one's going to respect you. No one's going to love you. No one's going to take care of you, even though you should take care of you first. But you are also should find a man that's going to take care of you as well and contribute and, you know, be that man, that, that uh, stability that you need. But no one's going to, you know, love or respect you or anything like that if you don't respect yourself. You walk around here looking like a little hoochie mama or you smoking and you drinking and you not caring about yourself. You're going to attract the wrong men. Because they're going to be like, oh, she just like the party. We're not going to take her seriously. We're just going to do the wop. And then you're just going to be one of them girls that's hurt and not took it seriously because you don't respect yourself. Women that respect yourself carry themselves a certain way. Okay? They carry themselves a certain way. They talk different. They walk different. They, they, they interact with, you know, people different than how a girl would that don't respect yourself. So, that's, that's the second thing. Learn to respect yourself. Learn to love yourself. Stop looking for definition and men. Looking for that, look for that love in yourself first. And then you can look for loving somebody else. Period. I know y'all love my advice. You ain't got something. The next question is, I'm sorry, not the next question. I'm telling y'all facts. The next thing is, know your worth, okay? Can no man get nothing over your head? Can no man hold nothing over your head when you know your worth? Can no man make you feel lower than what you are, lower than what you actually are if you know your worth? If you know you worth more than gold, baby, and you know that can't no man tell you nothing and you just that beautiful woman that every man should want and you got all the qualities of a good woman and you know that's his loss, he won't, he won't, he won't want to step it up because he's going to be like, oh, dang, you know, she, she, um, she love herself. She respect herself. You know, I respect her because she knows her worth. She know what she deserves. She not just taking anything, anything, any little piece of scrap off a plate. No, you got to show her more than that. And the next thing is love yourself. But actually, when you think about it, like I said, the next one was love yourself, but I already summed that up because the first one was dress modestly. That's what you do if you respect yourself. Respect yourself was the second one. Love yourself was the third one. Um, no, know your worth was the third one. And the fourth one was love yourself. So if you love yourself, you're going to do all those things. And eventually somebody going to come along and see your worth, period. Y'all got to know. The next thing is loyalty. If you don't have loyalty to somebody or you don't got loyalty for yourself, there's no way you could keep up a relationship because you're going to be doing everything in a relationship because you don't know how to value loyalty. You don't know how to walk outside and tell men no, like, I got somebody. Or you don't know how to speak up for yourself. Or you let people run over you and do everything and they power to put you down. You know what I'm saying? And not want to see you happy because some people are just, you know, come in your life and just want to ruin your relationship just because you with somebody but when you wasn't with nobody they wasn't paying you no mind sis so that's why i said stay loyal to the one you with stop hopping around jumping around giving your body to everybody and start giving your body to the person that really is going to value it and not tear it up okay you you don't want to be running and ripping and running in your teenage years and then your 20s and then in your 30s you washed up like preserve yourself preserve your body respect yourself and learn how to be loyal that's a strong word. Look it up. The next thing is, I hope y'all don't think I'm being too hard on. That's just me. That's just Eddie. That's just who I am. I just keep it a hundred. And I know y'all gonna love me for that, especially Eddie Gang. I know y'all gonna love me for that. And the new people that's watching me now, welcome. My name is Adina. If you don't know me, call me Eddie for sure. That's my nickname. And y'all about to get to know me now because I'm straight up. Period. You probably never seen inside of me, but. You know, I just want to show you the side of me. Just want to vibe with y'all. Get I want y'all to know, get to know my personality. This is who I am. Okay, so the next one is the next one is be kind. Be kind to one another. Don't call him dirty or he broke or he can't get you this, he can't get you that because he don't got a lot. Don't chase people for the money. Chase people because you love that person. Because you never know. They might not have money now, but when they get older, they might 
you know, find a career, find what's for them. And they won't remember, dang, I don't want to be with this girl because she wasn't with me when I didn't have nothing. If you be with a man that got everything, he might just be beating you. He could be doing anything to you, holding it over here just because he got money. So money not everything, ladies. Don't focus on money. Focus on loving somebody. And don't be focusing on money because that will really get you hurt. So be kind to that person. Treat that person right. Treat them they worth. And don't treat them what you feel like they worth. So make sure you know that person worth. Make sure you treat them kind. Say good words to them. Empower them. Make them feel good about themselves. Don't beat them down. Be positive. Put good energy out in the world and you'll get it back. Put energy out into your relationship and you'll get it back. Okay, the next thing is um be loving that's another thing with being kind i know it's like the same thing but also be loving loving be passionate in your relationship show kindness show be affectionate show them that you're really interested in them because if not they'll walk away and find something else because you're not making them happy you're not showing them enough love as a woman you should already have that natural instinct to be affectionate to be caring to make sure they're okay and everything above that's what wives do if you don't want to be a wife and you want to be a doctor, then do you. But that's what women do. That's what wives do. That's what is in store in us. The next thing is, don't ask for money right away. I know girls that meet guys and be like, I know this is random. Y'all probably like that question was like, to whom, why? But we just going to keep it a bean. Some girls be meeting men and be like, oh, um, can you cash at me $20? I did. Okay, it's okay for that person to take care of you and look out for you, but make sure you're looking out for them too. And you didn't even know him for that long, so why is you even asking for money? So now you're going to think like she ain't got nothing on her own, and now she's asking me for money. Stop asking people for money and definitely you don't need it because you don't know this person yet. He could hold that over your head, and then you might not even like who you, you know, who you met. So stop asking people for money so early in a relationship. Wait in the long run, and then y'all look out for each other 50-50, or however it's going to be. He going to look out for you because he care about you. He don't want to see you messed up. Okay, that's a different story. But don't just be trying to fish and get a sugar daddy. Whatever y'all be calling it. Whatever y'all be calling it. Stop doing it because that's not cute. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. And somebody else will come along and assist you with it. Stop thinking that you're entitled to other people's financial stability. Stop. It's not cute. Next. <laughs> I love y'all, but y'all got to stop that. All right, the next thing is take it slow. Stop meeting people and be like, oh, well, um, what are we? Take it slow, okay? You met this person, y'all get to know this person. You might not even like the person that you're meeting, so get to know that person before you be like, okay, can you be my boyfriend? Okay, can you be my wife? Okay, can you be with me forever? And then you finally suck in that marriage or whatever, that relationship, whatever, and then you don't even want to be in a relationship, but you didn't even give it time. You didn't even take it slow. Get to know that person. Start being friends first and all of that. Don't give them your body. Wait. Why is you rushing everything? Stop thinking because, okay, let's have sex. He going to want you more. That's not true. Stop thinking, oh, let me have a baby. He going to want you more. That's not true because he could still leave you and then you going to be stuck on Chuck. Okay? It's learning experience. Learn, grow, and don't do it again. You know better. You just going to do better. And that's just period. So take it slow. Stop rushing your relationship. Okay? That's the best relationship when you just take things slow. Stop rushing everything. Everything in a rush. I know life is short, whatever like that, but sometimes you got to really take your time with things, especially relationships. That's a really important thing. You can't just be rushing it, especially marriage and relationship. That's not, I know people just throwing it around like it's water, but relationship is really hard. <sighs> now I got to take a deep breath, y'all, because I feel like I get y'all a ton of information. And that's all I got for y'all today. If y'all really feel this helpful and y'all really feel like these are the tips to help you land a good man, make sure you give this a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my uh, channel if you aren't. Join the Eddie Gang, period. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.